Hey awesome people, welcome back to SP Tales. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn this simple hair simulation. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's first create our scene. Let's go to here and select this floor. Then uh, we need cylinder. Okay. Radius one centimeter. That's okay. Height two hundred is fine. Just bring it up. Oops, sorry. Cylinder and bring it up. Okay. Now take one more cylinder. Radius thirty five and height five centimeter. That's okay. And aligned it like this. Okay. Now take one sphere. Radius six centimeters. Okay. like this all right now we need one more sphere to interact those hairs part simulation so for that just resize the sphere around 30 centimeters fine it is okay just put it here okay now to add here we need some object okay just select this lender and increase the rotation segments around that's okay and also add fillet so around 0.6 that's okay so we have this right now okay now add one disk for those here's simulation and radius same as this or a little bit less so here radius is 35 so we'll make it outer radius 34 and just align it all right okay now go to first select this desk and go to simulate hair object and click on this button add hair so see right now it's it's in opposite direction so simply just select this disk, go to very first frame and like this, zero frame, select the disk and go to chords and rotate it like this. Make it minus 180. Okay, now go to side view, just put it inside of this thing. Okay, now go to side view just to check the hair length. I think it's fine okay now we need to put all this stuff inside the null object okay for that go to here and uh, select this null object simply align this null the top of the cylinder like this and select this slender another one and sphere and also the disc and and the hair and put everything inside the null object like this see now if you rotate it 
it will act like this okay let's go to here now quickly assign some material to the scene so okay so for floor with this material i'll add one sky object also Fair gold. All right. Now go to setting option and select this and best. Select best. Okay. So now just simply hit render. Let's see what we got. okay so let's first okay just go to your hair material we simply just change few things i just don't want this color so i'll make it white or slight you know gray this no Okay. So now just go to hair material and turn this curl option on. Twist also on. Yeah, that's okay. Just go to curl and reduce this curl. Let's see what we got now. So you will get this wavy kind of hair. Now just animate this null object. So for that we need one fifty frame. Okay. Okay. Now select this null object. Go to frame zero, and this value put minus forty five. Okay, so um, yeah, once you put this amount and then just hit this key icon, okay, see it's become red. Now go to thirtieth frame and make it zero. I can hit key frame, go to sixty. Now make it forty-five. Okay, so now um, at ninetieth frame, select zero, one twenty minus forty five, and one fifty again zero. All right. Now, if you play this, see you will get this nice hair simulation. But if you notice. This hair is not interacting with the sphere. Okay, so just go, just select this sphere, right click, and go to hair tag, and you know select this hair collider. So the hair will collide with the sphere, and it will interact like this. So select this. Now go back to zero frame, and now hit play button. See. Now hair is interacting with the sphere. So if I render it now, you will get this kind of nice hair simulation. Okay, you also can add uh, this hair collider to this uh, slender also. 
so to do that select is slender again right click and go to hair tag and select this hair collider so it will collide that part also all right now to loop this animation you just take a render from frame 0 to 150 but when you want to loop the animation just select your animation from 30 to 150 because if you select this null object and go to 30th frame see a value is 0 at the beginning and at 150th frame see the value is same as 0 okay so if I put 30 here and I play see you will get the same all right now go to frame 0 again or it's okay 30, 30 click here just smooth the animation go to uh, select this right click on it go to animation and go to f curve show f curve see we have this kind of so what we need to do is just select this and make it smooth Is it maybe because of this? Hmm. Okay. So now we'll take this render for that. Just go to setting. Put your output width and height and then frame 0 to 150 and go to save and put your file location put the format whichever you want I see I mostly put PNG sequence that's it and then hit this render button so if you like this tutorial please hit that like button and subscribe SP Tales for more videos like this.